the book of Proverbs, Benefits of Diligently Seeking Wisdom, 2, 1 through 22. Introduction. 1. The second chapter describes the benefits of seeking after wisdom. A. With an admonition to search for wisdom with diligence, Proverbs 2, 1 through 4. B. With a list of benefits that will come from such a search, Proverbs 2, 5 through 22. The benefits of seeking after wisdom are found only if we seek with the proper disposition. Qualities of a diligent search for wisdom. A. As explained by Solomon then, 1. It requires a willingness, Proverbs 2, 1. A. To be receptive to the words of others. B. To treasure, highly value, and remember commands of wisdom. 2. It requires an engagement, Proverbs 2, 2 and 3. A. Of the ear, willing to hear wisdom. B. Of the heart, willing to understand. C. Of the mouth, willing to cry out for discernment and understanding. 3. It requires a high estimation, Proverbs 2, 4. A. Seeking and searching. B. With the same fervor as seeking for silver and other hidden treasures. Thus, a diligent, diligent search for wisdom requires an all-out effort on our part. B. As experienced by Christians today, 1. It requires hearing the word of God. A. Incline your ear to wisdom, Proverbs 2.2. 2. B. Listening to preachers and teachers carefully with all readiness, Acts 17.11. C. Studying the Bible on your own, search the scriptures daily, Acts 17.11. 2. It requires meditating upon the word of God. A. Apply your heart to understanding, Proverbs 2.2. 2. B. Taking time to reflect and ponder on the word, Philippians 4, 8. C. Like the psalmist sung of his meditations, Psalms 119, 97 through 100. 3. It requires diligent prayer for wisdom. A. Cry out for discernment. Lift up your voice for understanding, Proverbs 2, 3. B. We must ask in prayer with faith, James 1, 5. C. We must persist in our asking. Matthew 7, 7 through 11. 4. It requires the same effort others expend seeking for material wealth. A. Seek her as silver for, as for hidden treasures. Proverbs 2, 4. B. In Christ are hidden all the treasures of wisdom and knowledge. Colossians 2, 3. C. Here's a simple test to see if you are expending the proper eff effort to seek wisdom. 1. If you worked as hard for your employer as you do seeking God for wisdom. 2. Would you have your job very long? Finding God's wisdom today requires the same diligence it did in Solomon's day. Is the effort worth it? Let's go now to Proverbs 2, 5 through 22 and find out what are the benefits of a diligent search for wisdom. A. Knowledge of God and His protection. 1. You will understand the fear of the Lord and find the knowledge of God. A. That fear of the Lord which is the beginning of knowledge. Proverbs 2, 5 and Proverbs 1, 7. B. That knowledge of God, whose storehouse of wisdom and understanding he gives to the upright. Proverbs 2, 5b through 7a. 2. You will have God's providential protection guiding your life. A. He is a shield to those who walk uprightly. Proverbs 2, 7b. B. He guards the paths of justice, which the righteous take. Proverbs 2, 8a. C. He preserves the way of his saints. Proverbs 2, 8b. What a blessing to go through life with God on your side. B. 
moral discernment for living. One, you will have great understanding. A, of righteousness and justice, Proverbs 2, 9a. B, of equal equity, fairness, and every good path, Proverbs 2, 9b. And David's prayer, Psalms 143, 8 through 10. Two, you will have great discernment. A, once wisdom enters your heart and knowledge is pleasant to you, Proverbs 2.10. B, they will preserve and keep you, Proverbs 2.11. What a blessing to go through life with God's wisdom at your disposal. C, deliverance from evil men. One, who speaks perverse things, Proverbs 2.12. 2. Who leave upright paths and walk in the ways of darkness. Proverbs 2.13 3. Who rejoice in doing evil, delight in perversity of the wicked. Proverbs 2.14 4. Whose ways are crooked and devious in their paths. Proverbs 2.15 Wisdom can deliver us from evil men and their evil ways. D. Deliverance from immoral women. 1. The seductress flatters with her words. Proverbs 2.16 2. The adulteress who forsakes her husband and covenant with God. Proverbs 2.17 3. Whose house and paths lead to death and the place of no return. Proverbs 2.18 and 19 Wisdom can deliver us from immoral women and their destructive ways. E. Enablement for righteous living. 1. To walk in the way of goodness and keep to righteous paths. Proverbs 2.20 2. To be upright and blameless, to dwell and remain in the land. Proverbs 2.21 3. Unlike the wicked and unfaithful, cut off and uprooted from the earth. Proverbs 2.22 Wisdom can empower us to live more blessed, if not longer, lives on this earth. Conclusion. Are not the benefits of wisdom worth the effort necessary to obtain it? A. To know God and enjoy his provincial care. B. To obtain discernment for making the right moral choices. C. To be delivered from the shenanigans of evil men. D to be delivered from the seductions of immoral women, e, to be able to walk in goodness and righteousness, living lives blessed by God. 2. And what is the effort required to, to obtain God's wisdom? a, to hear the word of God, incline your ear to wisdom, b, to meditate on the word of God, apply your heart to understanding, C. To ask in faith for wisdom, cry out for discernment, lift up your voice for understanding. D. To highly value its worth, seek her as silver as for hidden treasures. With such effort, one will not only find wisdom for daily practical living, but will also find Jesus Christ, in whom are hidden all the treasures of wisdom and knowledge, Colossians 2.3. He is indeed the greatest benefit of diligently seeking wisdom. The Benefits of Diligently Seeking Wisdom. The End.